wannabes. So, really <laughs> wondering what all this is. There's no elf on the shelf, but there's a lot of shelf. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I was sitting there one thinking that I didn't have, I couldn't, I couldn't get shelving for my shop, my new shop, right? Like it was just, I was getting frustrated, and I was, you know, trying to figure out how I was going to get shelving for my yarn and baskets and it was like $17 a basket um, at this place and the baskets were I mean they would have done fine but I wasn't paying that because I would have needed at least 20 so <clears throat> uh, I looked at different options for shelving and uh, there was a couple of people on Facebook marketplace that I tried to contact for shelving like grid wall kind of stuff and they sold before I could even get a chance so today I was on Facebook marketplace and this guy was selling all these baskets and shelving and all the gadgets for the shelving and everything for $300 and I was like hmm, okay so <clears throat> I contacted him I said so how many baskets they're metal baskets right and I said so how many baskets do you have he says oh over 20 look at this <laughs> plus he had these shelves and these shelves hook in to the, the long metal pieces which we got a ton they're underneath my seat and go all the way back to the back of the van uh, and then he gave us like a whole bunch of other types of shelves that and hooks and I'm telling you guys all of this, if I had to buy this, it would have probably been about $3,000. It's crazy. Each one of these shelves right here, there's a price tag on them of $68. Is that what they are? That's what the tag said. I was like, what? And there's about 40 of them. Yeah. And I was like, start the car! <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Run away, god. run away. And these are heavy, heavy metal I guess I shouldn't have done that with my wedding ring, but they're, they're heavy metal um, baskets and they're fair size. Um, so yeah, we've got way more than I can use, but that's okay because I will just set up the shop, figure out what I'm going to use and keep some extra and try and sell the rest. For $300. For $300. <laughs> um, <clears throat> But yeah, I, I, man, I got some serious guardians. And where did the $300 come from? Oh, George has got to tell you a story. So, as a young lad, and we're talking 9, 10, 11 to maybe 13, 14, I love comic books. So I have all these old Marvel comic books. And we're talking like 1970s, 1980s era. And didn't take very good care of them because back then we didn't know comics were going to be a thing uh, anything worth anything so they've been sitting in a box literally in my closet for 30 40 years and they, they're not taking care of at all so the guy that we're bought we're getting in we're getting the shop from is a comic book record collectibles seller so I mentioned these comics to him and I told him I knew that there were some that were probably historically significant but I didn't take very good care of them so we said well why don't you bring them in and I'll have a look at them and I can give you an appraisal value so I thought okay so I drove Sandy to the shop today because I had to use her car because my van was getting fixed and I brought in this box of comics and he poured through them he looked at his book that gave the value and basically for a bunch of things they've been sitting around doing nothing I walked out of that shop with $600. One comic in particular would have been incredibly valuable if it would have been in mint condition. It's not in mint condition, but he still thinks this one comic might be worth $1,000 once it's properly restored. So he is going to uh, send it to a special appraiser that puts value on these things to find out the grade. Now we'll determine the value. He thinks it's a grade two, which would mean it would retail for about a thousand dollars. So he gave me five hundred dollars for that one because he has to spend a little bit of money for the appraisal and the restoration. So we got 
a thousand, he would get make three hundred and twenty five dollars, and I've made five hundred dollars on something that I didn't even know was even worth anything. So I'm happy. And he also said, I'm happy too. <laughs> he also said if it comes out graded higher than he thinks, and it's worth actually more, that he will get a hold of me and actually give me more money, which I think is quite nice of him. And he also said if it doesn't grade out as much as he thinks it's going to be and it's not worth the thousand dollars I still get to keep the 500 so I don't really lose either way and the other ones were all worth like three dollars two dollars five dollars eight dollars the ones that, that he kept and that came out to about two hundred eleven dollars so he gave me a hundred for that lot so basically uh, they've been sitting forever I haven't read them in years I've read them all several times over they don't really mean anything to me anymore and just like that, six, five hundred dollars, six hundred bucks. Couldn't believe it. And yeah. next thing we know, we have three hundred dollars to buy shelving for Sandy's shop, <laughs> and I still have money left over. But we're not home yet. She might want to stop at Michael's or something, <laughs> and the other three hundred will be gone. Who knows? No. no. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's been a good day. It's been a good day. Um, now we got to take all of this and put it in our garage, and. Uh, Oh my god, yeah. Oh, it's so okay. The garage is not the cleanest in the garage, but it's just shelving. It's not going to get wrecked going in there. Well, this wood stuff might have well, to Well, we might have house. to wipe it down. We might have to put the wood ones in the, in the house, but... I mean, he had big, long, like, six to eight foot tall shelves. Oh, the grid. Um, the grid. The, the uh, bracket. No, no, no. Like shelves, like wood, oh. wood pieces. Oh, yeah. In we, those just, we didn't want those. Yeah, no, I I couldn't do anything with that. Um, so I just, he, but he was going to include that in the price. And I was like, uh, well, <laughs> you might be able to sell that to somebody else because I can't, I can't. I, we would have used... got it in the van anyway. No, it, they were long. Um, so he, he'll be able to, you know, make some money on that somewhere else. But, um, yeah, I, I'm just jackpot. And that's what he said. He says, do you feel like you hit the jackpot? And I was like, yeah, but, you know, I feel really bad. <laughs> she said, yes, I did the day I met him. And she pointed at me. That's what she said. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that was our, I had to close the shop early, which was not a big deal because, it, I mean, at a certain point of the day, start to know whether it's going to be busy for the rest of the day. Um, Sometimes and, they roll the sidewalks up in Shemaine at about 3 in the afternoon. Yeah, so we were just like, man, okay, we're, we're just going to close up shop and go and do this because I did not want to lose out on this opportunity um, like I did all the other ones. <laughs> so yeah, well, you I didn't think, lose out. Somebody just got there first. That's yeah. Right. So now all I got to do is buy the paint which is going to cost me about 100 bucks, I guess. Um, and then hopefully that should be good. You know, like... Pay the moving company to move all your stuff. Yeah, right. No. Um, George's moving company. <laughs> so, yeah. So I think we're ready to go now. Thank goodness. I, I was stressing out so bad. I was having nightmares last night. I was having really weird dreams. Um, but then again, I also put that that cream I've got this cream or this oh, gel okay. stuff that I put on and I got from a lady and it's got a little bit of THC in it I think because I, I I was having weird dreams and I don't do that kind of stuff right that that me and that stuff don't mix at all but um, yeah so I just wanted to be able to sleep because all I've been thinking about lately is the, the new shop. I did this with the old shop, remember? You guys remember? That's all I was thinking about. That's all I could, you know, my, my brain was just all crazy. Um, so, oh, and I went into the shop today with George. And you know how I was telling you guys that I was going to be able to put the, um, like, make a change room on one side and then put the clip yeah that's not gonna work because it's not as deep as I thought it was it's only like maybe half a foot to a foot deep on one side I thought it was I thought it was different but anyway uh, so I might have to put the change room on the other side and then I lose that shelving so I don't know we'll figure it out when I get in there but um, I'm excited 
I am very excited and uh, I can't wait to do this now. So, anyway. Okay, so I guess I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> oh, say bye. Bye. Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Ah, okay. So I just got to the shop. I am just finished opening up everything. Um, I wanted to have a chat with you guys about something. Hang on, I'm trying to turn on my square machine. There we go. Um, I'm, I'm not thinking about, I'm going to do, I'm going to stop saying, I'm thinking about, I'm, you know, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to rip the band-aid off of stuff and start doing things. Um, I'm going to open up a membership on my channel uh, for $2 a month. I've been thinking about doing it for years and I just never did it because I honestly, I didn't think I had anything to offer. You know, um, I, you know, I thought, well, I'm going to have to, you know, give things away and I'm going to have to have, you know, patterns or whatever available. And, and, you know, <laughs> I started thinking about it and there's a lot of channels that don't really have anything to offer that have memberships and stuff, but, um, I'm going to, that sounds really bad, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm going to have things on my membership. It's just, <clears throat> I'm not going to be doing like weekly draws or monthly draws or big giveaways or anything like that. This, this membership is going to be for all of my OGs out there that want to join. Um, it's going to be a more personal, uh, place for, for us, um, where I talk about things that I don't really want to talk about on my channels per se. Uh, it's going to be a place where um, I'm going to do special videos. My dog is sitting down at my feet when she's got a perfectly wonderful bed that I just bought her behind me. <laughs> uh, she must feel my anxiety. Um, but I, I really want to have a space where I can be myself. I don't have to be on here just you know, kind of thing. I want to be able to be real. Uh, I know I can do that on my channel. I get that. But you know what? Sometimes when I'm having a hard time, I'm feeling down. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling all the feels. People notice on my channel and sometimes there aren't very nice comments. So <clears throat> I know that the people that I've known on here for years since I've started my channel, I, I know that they would never do that to me. Um, so I want my membership to be a safe place, um, for all of us <clears throat> where, you know, if I want to do a live and talk real talk, I can no sugarcoating stuff, no editing stuff, no, you know, real talk and not be a place where somebody's going to get really offended or, um, or judge me. Um, yeah. So, uh, I'm not going to ask like I usually do. I'm not going to ask you guys, you know, would you guys be interested in this? Would you, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do it. And just if you guys come along, great. If you don't, I understand. Um, I think I'm going to stop asking permission for anything. Uh, I'm, you know, and you guys have told me this in the past. You know, it's my channel, do what I want, yada, yada. Um, but I always feel, because I'm a people pleaser, I always feel that I have to ask you guys. So 
I'm going to try really hard to stop doing that. Um, and I'm going to open up this membership uh, and see what happens. See what happens. Um, I have a plan for myself. Um, and I'm going to talk about this more on my membership channel. But I had a realization yesterday when George and I were driving to Victoria that kind of worried me. Um, <clears throat> I think it worried George as well. And I'm going to make some changes to myself, for myself. Um, and I'm going to put that part of my journey in my membership as well. So, yeah, real talk. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to throw that at you guys and um, let you know what's coming down the pike. Okay? Okay. Uh, I gotta finish opening up, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.